Well, I'm just dying to pop that core. Are we ready? Oh. Oh, no. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, just when we thought our Marvel collection was complete for this series here, because as you recall, in an earlier video, we did the Red Smash Hulk, and then also the Blue Strike Spider-Man, and then over here, we did the Vibranium Energy Blast Black Panther. We needed to finally get the last one, which we finally came out with, which is the Armored Energy War Machine. Now we got it. On top of that, they also came out with some things that surprised us, which is a great surprise, because over here, we have the Spider-Man versus Goose Shifter Lizard. The Lizard looks cool, and it's a Goose Shifter, so you'll be able to crush the core and get something green or oozy. I'm not sure, so you have to watch for that one. And then the top it off they got the super goo and this one's the enhanced combat power spider-man and what makes him enhanced is he's got two cores to crush not just one it's two goo in one two cores that's gonna be super cool guys so what we're gonna do to make a one-stop shopping since we already did these three in an earlier video we're gonna insert that video here then after that we'll do the uh, armored war machine and then we'll do the versus pack and then stay tuned for the big super goo the double your pleasure double your fun two cores in one gujitsu's has done it again they come out with the marvel goo shifters that's right we got all three of them here we got the red smash hulk then we got the vibranium energy blast black panther and blue strike spider-man cool guys take a look at the first one here red hulk it's marvel heroes of gujitsu goose shifters and it's the red smash hulk stretches up three times its size he says he's super smushy you crush the core and transform the goose so it looks like the color is going to be from what you can see on the package it looks a little bit clear when we crush the core apparently he's really going to turn red super i mean that's what i thought the hulk would always do just you know he sees red he gets angry why green <laughs> Okay, here's the back. And again, this is Red Smash Hulk. You crush the core, and it says you pinch the core nine times. If you see that little teeny tiny arrow at the nine X, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you sneeze, and it just automatically just goes everywhere. And you transform the goo, and there's a total of four that you can collect, which is the Vibranium Energy Blast Black Panther. And then you've got the Armored Energy War Machine. Now, we haven't found that yet, but when we do, be sure to like and subscribe so we can like show you that, and you can be the first to see that. And I don't know why they don't have it released yet, but we'll get it as soon as they do. And then you got the Red Smash Hulk and, of course, the Blue Strike Spider-Man. So let's go with our Smash Hulk. You got a divot here. You can pinch above and blow it and just tear open the top. But if you want to save the picture of the top here, you don't want to tear through it. So how about if we just use a knife to match his uh, Hulkness, the red. And let's go at the bottom. Ready, guys? Okay, so he already looks like he's been dyed in red, right? But not pure red. He's not pure angry yet. Oh, man. And you can see the core right in there. I can see it, but let's take a look at him. This is his clear skin. This is him as Bruce Banner, you know. <laughs> look at that. He's just turning red. He's so embarrassed. Or, man, he's really just uh, clenching his teeth, you know, ready for the dentist. <laughs> and then you can see on the back, I was just about to show you the core. And so it looks cool. Oh, his, his shorts are torn. And it's black, so black and red. And let's take a look at the core. I'm going to try to squeeze it so I can show you the core without squeezing the core. Okay, can you see the core? A core you can. And you can see that there's the stop right here. So if I push this, it should pop it open, okay? And we'll do one. Oh, that was a good poppage. And here it comes. Here comes the goo. Here comes the goo. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And you can see it's starting to fill up. He's turning really red. Oh, man, he angry. Get back, guys. He angry. Hulk smash. That's so angry. He's really red. Oh my goodness. I think I got all of it out. Just squishy, squishy, squish it. And it's supposed to be super mushy. Now we can squeeze it fully. It's just a bunch of watery liquid. You know, it says it's mushy, but it's just very liquidy. Oh, and then if we squeeze it again, it's actually got metallic in there. It's metallic red. Man, I wonder why he's so angry. He's got all those hard metals in him. Mercury, lead. <laughs> it's like, get the lead out. Yes, me don't like metals. <laughs> oh, this is cool, guys. Oh my goodness. And he very, very stretchable here. And we have to do the roundabouts, right? I just hope I don't get metal everywhere. But here we go. I don't know how far we're gonna go with this. I don't want this outer core to pop. Oh. Yeah, he's angry now. If he wasn't then, boy, you see that? Feel that camera? He's just <laughs> oh, and look at that. It's just all pinched here on the back, but it should pop open, you know, just a little bit stuck. Whoa, man, that was cool. And his shorts, you know, his shorts do come off, you know, so. <laughs> I'm short this now! Ah, smash! <laughs> Sorry, man, you got such an attitude. So angry all the time. Like and subscribe, hit that bell! Ah! <laughs> I just do it, man, he's already angry. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, we'll put his shorts back on. 
man. If you wore a belt, it would help hold this up. All right, now we got to do the capring. Here we go. In three, two, oh, out. Well. Uh, it was a bit like, there's too much stretch. I could have choked up on it more, cinched up. I think it would have gone further, but it's about 22 feet. Okay, so we got a dual stand for our Hulk. Don't put me in a choker! We got to put you up here, you know. You got to look good. You got to keep you standing up because Gujitsu's by themselves. They just don't stand. Let's do the next one right here, which is our Vibranium Energy Blast Black Panther. You crush the core and transforms the goo, and it's got purple goo, and he's super squishy. Now, unlike the other goo shifters, I don't think any of these have like a special kind of goo. I mean, it says down here super squishy, but I think they're all just very viscous because the other ones you had Orbeez, and I just don't see any Orbeez on this one. So we'll have to open it up and see. And on the back, you know, same thing. You're going to have to squeeze the core nine times. Let's go ahead and crash. Easy, buddy. <laughs> And it's got a very, a kind of a still factory smell to it. If I could smell the factory. That's what I like. I like a car fresher, factory smell. Ooh, okay. So this one, I think he's supposed to be purple. I don't know if the cores are, how can you tell? Anyways, because I'm looking inside and you can see his hands are kind of the transparent, right? You can see right through the top part where there's no liquid. He's got the purple necklace. It's really cool. I love the purple mask. He just always looks cool in that mask and his outfit. And, you know, there's the back, but... I think the core is already smashed in this one because when I squeeze it, if it's all purple, it's totally black. Oh, yeah, it's is it already smashed? Yeah, look. Oh, it's super cool looking, guys. We have to do a reveal on this. It's sparkly metallic purple. We didn't have to crush the core. The core is crushed for us. Thanks, Mouse. I don't know. It could have been done in shipping, you know, just shaking around because, like, we did the, one of the reveals in Goose Shifters and you're supposed to squeeze it. Sometimes you're just like. <laughs> He could have used him to smash the core. And when he had those Orbeez in him, they were super hard. He couldn't crush them. And then one, I just remember just barely touching him. Went boop. It just popped open. But I want to try to give you guys the best. It's so dark. Uh, I don't know if Stranger Things is going to help. We got a Stranger Things flashlight. Does it help at all? Can you see the poipo? Yeah, you can see. You can see it pretty well. It, I can see it sparkly. It's a very, very cool looking purple, guys. You guys have to like watch the video on the reveal here because this one I can see, it's hard to show you in here, but it looks super cool, guys. He doesn't have much of a body. I just wish I could give you more, but that's all I can give you right now, guys. But it, it does look super cool. Guys, you gotta watch the reveal, man, when we open this dude up. Yeah, we gotta do roundabouts first. That's a, of course. Yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut. Mm. Oh, wow. He could pop. Ooh, I felt something. <laughs> it could have been me just spitting in gleetness. <laughs> now, he should go further because, you know, he, it's like Hulk. Yeah, see, I can't even pull back that far. He should go further. Yeah, okay, maybe an extra foot or two. Say 20, we'll say 25 feet. Black Panther, I mean, he looks cool on the outside, but the inside, the goo, you gotta do a reveal. And when you guys actually, when you buy him and you squeeze it, in your lighting, you'll be able to see it. It looks really good, it's just hard. I don't think it's picking up on the camera that well with the lighting. And last but not least is our Spider-Man. He's singing the blues, because he's Blue Strike Spider-Man. When he strikes, it's always the blue. It's crushed the core and the blue comes out. So he's kind of transparent and clear, but he's still got kind of that light, light blue skin color to him. Transform the goo and he's super stretchy. And again, it says right there, Blue Strike Spider-Man Hero Pack. And then on the back, you know, it's the same thing. You're gonna have to squeeze it nine times. And it says it's super stretchy. Now, if it's super stretchy, in the past it was corn syrup. And that can't work because when you pop that, yeah, the corn syrup's right there. It's just so dense. Okay, well, we'll see. I do the review right here and just cut these guys open, but some of you guys, you know, if you're like me, you might be a little squeamish. So we'll keep that for rated PG-13. Here we go. Spooderman. Spooderman does whatever he can. Oh. He's got these, like, this always cracks me up, this little bib thing. I don't know what it is, you know. But it's not cracked. And I love his eyes. One's like, you know, Clint Eastwood, go ahead and make my day. You know, he's got that squinty eye, you know, just like, ah! And then there's the back. Okay, so he's got the red spider on the back and the black one on the front. And I think to really see this, we're going to have to take off his bib. I mean, I'm not sure which is funnier to look at, this one or Iron Man's diapers, where it's just droopy yeah. down here. <laughs> it wasn't his diapers, it was part of his suit, but it just looks so droopy. Okay, I'm um, gonna have to be careful, guys, when I squeeze it, because I'm gonna try to show you the clear part as if you couldn't see the clearness already, right? Wow. Look at that. That core is so blue. Can you see that camera? Mom, you put the camera picking up. That is really blue. So what do you think? When you pop it, is it just going to be the color blue? Is it going to be metallic blue? Is it going to be glittery like uh, Black Panther? I mean, what's the blue strike? 
Okay, you guys ready? And no corn syrup. Yeah, it's not corn syrup. So when they say mushy, squishy, gushy, hushy, mushy, tushy, it's all the same. So here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's the funnest part, man. It's metallic -y blue, it looks like. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm, oh, I'm seeing it now. Okay, let me give it a good squish. It's squirrely. Blue is the way to go, guys. Blue squirrels. That is so cool. What do you mean Earth camera, Mom? It looks like Earth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looking out from outer space and you see all the blue swirlies around it. Kind of some, it's kind of like got some, the, the light hits it, kind of got the white cloudy swirls, you know? That's cool, guys. I like my Spiderman. Oh, he's a little bit naked. Should we just put him back in here? Because I think in shipping, some of these will pop, you know? Okay, so he's got a, oh, how are we going to do the roundabouts with this spooter suit on? Should we try it with the spooters? Ooh. Well, this might be interesting. Man, that was smooth. God, that was really smooth. His uh, weight was all centered very well, distributed just right down uh, symmetrically on this side, was this side just well balanced, and it just felt like it was gliding. Unlike the Hulk, where he just was. I and mean, when you expect that out of the Hulk, but this one, this is like one of the two or three that was so smooth in the roundabouts. I think his uh, baby bib's coming undone, you know, just, Spider-Man, get your bib on, it's time to eat. No, I don't need it, Aunt May. We just spill stuff all over your body, so we gotta protect you. I just snapped up. See, look at that. Now he looks a little bit more cooler. It just looks like he's got something coming up. Speed stripes or something, you know, just racing stripes. I mean, just the way it's, the collars being pulled up. Okay, Spooner Man. Okay, that one did better. That one's like 27, 28 feet. You go, boost strike, Spooner Man. And finally, it's war. What's it good for? There you go, Armored Energy War Machine Hero Pack. Stretches up to three times its size. You crush the core, and this gray stuff comes out, metal, and it gives him superpowers because he transforms the goo in him, and it makes him super squishy. How is that a power being a squishy? It's supposed to be hard as a rock, yeah. Okay, well, anyways, that's what it says. And so on the back, same thing. You're just going to crush the core, and it says nine times. So let's just go ahead and cut open the bottom here. Okay, here we go, guys. And for the reveal. Ooh. I'm just saying it because I can't see it, but I thought I'd be with you on the ooh side. That looks cool. And you can see the core hasn't been crushed because it's pretty like clear. It doesn't look metallic -y on the inside. So you know you got a, an original goo. <laughs> Unless some kid's at the store smashing it with his hand and crushes all the cores. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. And so this is cool. So you got uh, some sort of rocket launcher. No, this is the rocket launcher. That's the uh, like Gatley gun, right? Uh, you still have his like... <laughs> diapers but it's you know metal diapers so it'll keep you nice and sure and secure i think it looks really cool guys and what i want to do so i can show you the cores i'm going to go ahead it's cooler if you can like crush the core with the armor on and it just looks you know so much more original but so you guys can see the whole thing i'm gonna see if i can oh no he's really tied up in this armor man oh uh, how are we gonna get him out without crushing the core i think he's doing some yoga oh yeah oh <laughs> I always wondered how Iron Man got into his uh, suit or war machine, you know, without those nanobots, nanomites. We're getting there. Now it looks like a tutu. <laughs> but what do I do? Do I want to put his leg up through the armor or his arm down? Let's try the leg. I think the leg will work. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That core looks secure, man. You don't have a core breach. Oh, it looks cool too. You can actually see it really silvery inside. Oh, hopefully it's not toxic like mercury. Get it all over you. I think mercury looks something like that. Look how cool it looks. Oh yeah, it just looks like one big paintball, you know? Paintball wars. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready? So you can see he's totally clear except for that big ball inside, right? Let's go ahead and pop it. I'll do it like up the arm here. So when it pops, it goes all the way up the arm. Let's see if that works. Okay, here we go in three, go. Ew. Okay, it just popped the popper, but we still... Okay, here we go. Here comes the silver. Now he's powering up. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, he's still clear down here. We need more goo power down here. You got to really squish him. Now he's super squishy. He's kind of frothy. <laughs> He's got bubbles in him. Well, we just got to shake it, shake it, shake it. And then we give him the squeezy wheezy. Okay, guys, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Silver. Silver metallic, metallic -y, metallic silver. And look, there's his binky in there floating around the stopper. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And it's funny to see so many bubbles in there. It's kind of hard to see the metallic goo just a little bit, but I can see it there. I think camera mom can see it on her camera. So it means you at home hopefully can see it too. <laughs> 
<laughs> or if you're on the road, you know, just be careful. Let's go ahead and stretch him and do random bounce. It's war. It is never good for. Unless you're a machine. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was really smooth. I like that. War machine, you done good. Hey. <laughs> His arm is really like bony. And I think you gotta go pretty far, right? See, he really stretchy. And I wanna see just how far, so we gotta choke up here. Oh. Oh. Oh no. He's, ah. Oh. <laughs> He's, he got the snot bubble. Oh no. Oh, war machine. What happened to you? I was gentle in the roundabouts. Oh, this reveal has turned into something nasty. Thank goodness we have a war machine too. I mean, there's just a dime a dozen, right? Not when they're goos. Come on, go as fast as you can, as far as you can for your brother who died in war. Oh, uh, like I said, I was trying to choke up, but I choked up too much and it knocked, I don't know, it just severed his neck or something started coming out, so I didn't choke up too much. Okay, so he went about um, 18 feet. May we give a salute for our fallen comrade, a goo salute. Okay, it doesn't look legit with his hand up like this. <laughs> oh no, just patty cake, patty cake. No more goo uh, dying out in this fate. That was weird. Okay, so at Adventure Fun, we tell you and show you what not to do. Next, with your goo. This one's gonna be cool, man. It's our Lickery Lizard versus pack. Here you go, it's Spider-Man versus Goose Shifter Lizard. And it just shows you Spider-Man being squozen. Looks like he's got blue Orbeez. For the Lizard, it says crush the core. It's gonna be like the green Joker metallic-y kind of a thing, I bet. In fact, well, the Joker in one of them in the actually had a purple metallic feeling if I remember right and we had the purple suit I don't know it's just all one big goo of a dream and then you we're gonna see what it looks like so that's cool and it says for the spooder man he's super squishy um, nothing about the uh, transform the core lizard you will have to like feel him out and see if he's super squishy or whatever you know super mushy uh, I'm on the back there you go spider-man versus goo shifter lizard and it's the same thing and then just down below it says you know all the others you can collect it's got armored energy war machine vibranium energy blast black panther red smash Hulk, blue strike spider-man and then what we Yet to cover is the enhanced combat power Spider-Man Super Goo. Ready to open this up. Now we've gone through a lot of Spider-Mans, but this is the first time I've seen some crazy lizard here in the Goo um, series. There we go. Oh, that looks super goo, guys. Okay, will he open? They actually tied it in, so I'm gonna have to get in there, do a little bit of operation. Hopefully I don't break any more goo. We're actually on the back. There it is, just cut through that, and that should release them from their uh, plastic cage. Yeah, let's do Spooderman. Spooderman first. You know, the interesting thing about this Spooderman, how many uh, different Spider-Mans can you come up with, with all the different goos? I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze and just see. It kind of looks the same. I uh, Didn't we have a Spider-Man that also had blue Orbeez in one of the many Spider-Mans that Moose has come out with? I can't remember, but it's still super cool. I love the blue Orbeez and he feels really goo. And you know, we've taken off his duds many times. It looks like it's the same thing, but let's just take him off because I don't want anything to prevent me from getting the right capring here. Yeah, he's got no corn in him. We gotta look to the lizard. So here we go. There's the Orbeez and roundabouts. You know, it's really odd to have anybody break open in a roundabout, except the T-Rexes or the Jurassic World we did. Man, that corn syrup was just all over the ankles of one of the dinosaurs. It was nasty. Uh, I think he's good. Okay, this one should go pretty far. Oh yeah, 55 feet, 50 feet, 50 feet, okay. I gave it five, <laughs> that's okay, 50 feet, still goo, woo. Okay, for those of you who just joined us, you could be saying, hey, isn't that the same as this over here? I mean, what point did you come into the video? We already did this. The goo over here, as a reminder, is metallic boo. Boo, boo, and it's super cool. Well, this one has the Orbeez, and then, oh man, he looks so cool. He's got a lot to him, you know, this lab coat. He's totally Dr. Lizard head. Head face. He's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Dr. Uh, Lick Lizard, and uh, well, actually, I don't know if he is a doc, but man, the lab coat makes him legit. I'd listen to him. As creepy as he looks. Listen to me. Yeah, like and subscribe. Ah. It's the doc. I would. He's got a lab coat. That's cool. That little tongue hanging out. And he's got like Hulk-like shorts, because that's the same thing, except Hulk had like cuts in his shorts, at least in the later series. Let's go ahead and pull that off so we can really take a look at his goo. I assume he's not a goo guy, guys, right? Yeah, I haven't watched really the whole Marvel series here, guys. So yeah, I assume since he's wearing a lab coat, most lizards don't. I assume 
that he turned himself intentionally from a human being into a lizard. And you can see him right there. And let's go ahead and squeeze to see what it looks like before the core gets crushed. Clear, just the green skin, right? You can see the total green dye in there. Well, I'm just dying to pop that core. Are we ready? Let's do it up like down at the leg or up at the arm again here. Let me twist it. We gotta get the most out of our goo view experience. All right, I'm gonna pull his arm and we're gonna pop the tall in one, two, fall them all. Ooh, that was kind of cool. And then we just start flushing out the toxins. <laughs> and then he starts turning into a lizard. Tongue comes out. <laughs> Lick his subscribe. <laughs> He's going crazy. We got to just keep flushing that corn until all that green inner goo comes out. I think I got all of it. I just mush it. Okay, now should we take a look at it? It's green jello. Actually, you know what? I thought there'd be metallic swirls in here, but there's not. It's just actually green Kool-Aid punch-like look to it. That's kind of cool, man. It'd be funny if they actually put like some sort of like, you know, Kool-Aid punch in here where the water was sugar, sugar water. And inside they had like that citric acidy, whatever it is to mix with it because it's sugar with the, the powder. And then you can just like, you know, oh, I feel we fleshed. <laughs> and I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and rolly rolly. Oh, wow. Man, look at that club foot. I hope we don't get another accident with this dude. Oh man, that one was pretty violent. <laughs> It's like, go, 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 go. I think this is gonna slow him down, his tongue sticking out, okay? I don't think he'll goo very far. And three, two, one. Whoa, <laughs> you hear that? That was 25 feet, man. That was a hissy of a fly, Mr. Lizard Face. So yeah, guys, I think what happened, this professor got an arm or something chopped off. I don't know, I'm just hearing rumors, but then he knew lizards can regrow certain appendages and stuff. So he regrew it, but then not only did he regrow it, but he became a lizard and grew an attitude. <laughs> now he's just evil. You don't want to mess around with science if it's going to turn you into a lizard. He looks really cool though. I mean, the green's just popping. I think. This is just such a unique one to get. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to seeing all the other marvelous, marvel ghouls, my darling, you know. But this green one, man, super goo. Now for the super goo of all super goos, we got enhanced combat power, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a double core attack can. Crush the cores, and you can see you got two of them, and then transform the goos, and he's super stretchy. And again, it says right there, enhanced combat power, Spooderman. And you can twist them, you can stretch them up to three times the size. And on the back, oh, it has Orbeez. We gotta wait four hours. All right, guys, as soon as we're done crushing, we're gonna have to sit here and go through it together. The four hours of adventure fun! But yeah, the Orbeez, so blue Orbeez, and you can squish, twist, and stretch. And then also available are the ones that we just went over, you know, Blue Strike Spider-Man, Red Smash Hulk, Vibranium Energy Blast, Black Panther, and Armor Energy War Machine. Whew, that's a lot to say. All this energy is taking me a lot of energy to say energy. Let's get this going so we can get the clock going on these Orbeez once we crush them. And the Orbeez were the hardest ones to crush those cores because you have those hard balls inside that the water hasn't gotten to it to expand. And so when you're trying to squish it, it's like not giving way completely to pop the core. We'll see if this is any easier. Let's hope that the core isn't popped first. It's the first thing I noticed, his smell. Wow, he's got a, a very labby smell to him. You know, Just fresh out of the lab, we just produced him. Wow, look at that, that looks cool. He's just doing his, I don't know, is the Hawaii, no, hang loose is Hawaii, okay. Well, he's kind of like hanging loose as Spooderman, so that's why he's got the extra finger. And then he's ready to whip you. There you go, there's the back. And so to do this, I'm gonna try to take off, if I can do it. Oh, he's such a big dude too. It's, it looks really cool. And then maybe over the head, we might be able to do it. That'll be easier for me. And then off to the side. Okay. And then down. That belt's a little bit tight. Yeah, Spooder Man's been gaining weight. The Miles Morales they already show Spooder Man. Can't believe he had a little bit of roll on Billy eating pizza. I mean, you don't do that, Spooder Man. You gotta keep yourself lean and mean. Oh, look at the two cores right there. Here. This one. Okay, so it's pretty clean but you can see the blue beads inside of the Orbeez, okay? And I don't know if it's gonna change the goo if the, the blue beads are all to it, or if you pop it and it's got a blue powder in it to really make the inner goo look blue. So here's how we're gonna do it, if I can do it, two at once. Uh, I can only do one at a time. Here goes the first popper, three, two, one. Ooh, that was pretty satisfying. Let's do the second one, and that sounded cool. Oh no, he's coming undone. I'm losing control. Here we go. They got these poppers right, you know. Actually, it's popping. So now what I have to do is I got to squeeze um, all the beads or get the water in there. And let me see if I can get the water in there. So, oh, there's a bead coming out. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's got any blue powder, guys. See, look at it. 
Here comes the beads. Here comes the ore beads. That's going to be a lot of beads. And you need two cores to fill up a super goo like this. Because one core, I mean, you'll have his lower half, you know, just with a bunch of ore beads, his upper half, you know, just like viscous, you know. You got to get them out. You just got to keep pushing and squeezing. So yeah, this could take like some time, guys. And if you don't get it out of here and the water fills up, then you're not going to have all the joy of the ore beads, you know, coming out and filling up his whole body. I think I got them all out. We're going to do investigation here. Yeah, that one looks clean. I got a question. Can I like and subscribe? Yes, you can. Bing. There you gave us a like, and you subscribed. <laughs> and look, you can see it all at the bottom right here, guys. All the Orbeez have floated to the bottom. Oh, now they're, oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, they're just so heavy. They haven't absorbed the water yet. I'm gonna see if I can give you a big foot view without this. Can you see it? Is oh, yeah, it? Oh yeah, I haven't gotten them all out. <sighs> My job as a superhero is never done. Well, you know what? I could bring them right now, but if I do a break, I won't be able to see the Orbeez grow into mature, you know, Orby form. So we won't probably do roundabouts now or a Capri. We'll wait till he grows. Guys. Four hours. What you doing? <laughs> We'll be back. Okay, guys, it's been several weeks. I mean, I got a haircut and it grew back. <laughs> we finally got our Orbeez. They've hatched around. Let's take a look at our speeder man. Oh, that's a lot of Orbeez. That's so cool. All the blue. I love blue Orbeez. Yay! And they sound so satisfying. But what do you think? I mean, with somebody as big as him, do you think he'll capring as far? So <laughs> look, it has a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> He's, look at that. He's got his little core right there. Of course he does. I uh, showed you roundabouts. Oh, too late. We're going. Oh, oh yeah. He's quite the rounds. You think he'd hold up? He'd be more durable because he's bigger, thicker skin. We'll soon find out. Well, that tumor is starting to pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a very vain attempt here. Look at that. Oh, he's not even unwinding right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Christmas ball, a globe over there. I don't know what's happening. I zoom in and I get smacked by him. But man, that's the longest unwinding of any gujitsu I've ever done. What was happening? It's weird. It just, I don't know. It just focused on that big ball. Look at that withering arms. He's, oh, Spider Man, I can still whip you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you have to choke up on him, pull up because, yeah. Jeez. Oh, Oh, that was pretty good for such a gigantor. Uh, he went, uh, let me guess, it's 12 feet. Okay, guys, Goo's your favorite. Is it going to be War Machine? I mean, I like him. He looks really cool with his uh, gun here and his rockets. And then you got uh, Blue Strike. I think it was uh, Spider Man and the Liquid because the Orbeez is over here in the two pack with Leaping Lizards. And then you have Black Panther and Red Hulk, which looks really unique. I don't know why he's so red. Because he's angry. <laughs> he sees red everywhere. That makes more sense than being green, right? With Envy. That's why he's angry because he's green. Now he's turned red. He sees his true color. And then you got the Super Goo. Spider-Man. Guys, go ahead and put in the comments which one's your favorite. Um, I pretty much uh, like this because it's new. And you guys can be too. If you haven't liked and subscribed, be sure to do so. Thanks for watching, guys. Now I'm to Fortnite Challenge where I could win in a Gujitsu skin. And I wish I had a lizard, but I don't. But I got the friendly neighborhood. Spider-Man. Let's go. Spider-Man's going to his favorite camping spot. Mine and yours. It's on the edge of the island here. Three, two, one. Jump. And he's got the classic Spider-Man suit. Um, they have other colors like a highlighted blue green and gold. And it's really cool, but you know, this one, let's just go for the red and the blue for the goo in you. And I'm not gonna make my mark. I didn't really uh, get the right angle here. Okay, if I can curve this tree just right, I might be able to, oh. Hey, no fall damage, yay! <laughs> well, somebody else is coming in hot and heavy. I gotta hurry and get to the campsite for, hey, look who's taking care of our uh, campsite. It's Fireman Bob, Fire Ranger Bob. Yeah, not Fireman Bob, Fireman Sam. So look alive, stay awake, it's Fireman Sam. He's gonna save the day with slap, it's today. And that's cool. I've never seen double slap, it's in the same cooler. Well, hate to slap and run, but we gotta go. Can't let the uh, other dude get ahead of me here. Let's see if there's anything in this little outhouse. Yeah, just grab anything I can see on the floor. Don't leave guns lying around. It's dangerous, especially for me. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of the shotgun, get some more ammo. You know, I'm going to climb back up onto Hut here because he's it. Hey, it's Marshmallow Man. Oh, he's got to be a bot. How can he know? He didn't hear me. Single head shot. Ooh, not to the dome, though. Ooh, ouch, okay, time to spam. Spam, lam, ling, ding, 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 dong. Nice. Well, Mr. Mellow, you got roasted. 
Okay, well, at least he left me one valuable object, and that's the uh, small shield. Let's go, just one. But I'm grateful for what I can get. Let's go ahead and see if we can find anything in this chest. More health, more shield, and we got more mini slapets. Let's slap it out. And some more ammo. And a bush bomb. You know, they did away with Bush Warrior. I haven't seen that. The only equivalent you can get or come close to it is you got to get like, um, like covered in mud when you're in a bush, but that doesn't do the healing. So you have to get a second augment, that's the Mud Warrior. And when you got those two, oh, and the third thing you guys ought to get, third thing you got to get is uh, infrared when covered in mud. Man, you're hiding in a bush and you can see infrared and people shoot at you. And you get regenerated health as long as you don't spam you too hard. That's a pretty cool uh, combo. Takes three of your augs out of four, and time to get some shield. Not gonna quite fill it, so we'll have to look for another pot tea break. Now, I've got some quests. Two out of three, and help hunting cursed llamas. Oh, how'd they get cursed, man? They just eat some bad berries. Because that's what they look like. Dark berry llamas. You know, Fortnite's gotta come up with the cereal, and it's gotta be organic, not this all corn syrupy popo. -po. It's gotta be healthy. Llama, llama, ding, 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 dang, dong cereal. Llamas, llama marshmallows. Man, I was watching one of these videos how to complete the uh, hot flower challenge. If you watched my last video, this guy, he's been doing Fortnite videos apparently, and I've been watching other videos, and this guy's hilarious. He gets down there and he's trying to explain that, oh man, it's a little spicy. <laughs> I heard that, man, that was hilarious. I'm not gonna make the jump, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna focus right now. I just now I got that in my head. A little bit of spicy. <laughs> First time sounded better. Yeah, it was a little bit spicy, man, because you couldn't like get the hop flowers. It was or whatever you meant by it. It was funny. I got the thermal. I'm good. Man, Mr. Crow, you've been doing fabu. I got me uh, slap it. I might as well eat the uh, infrared fish. And I look a little bit of spicy. <gasps> look, there's a dude. Oh, oh, you're not doing too happy, are you? He's not that good with his shots. Either that or I know how to dance. Should be dancing, yeah, you should. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go, Mud Warrior. Yeah, that's becoming my favorite. Wish we had more mud to play in. Maybe we can mix a little bit of dirt and water. My fingers. Okay. The ghost is clear, Raggy. Getting in the Scooby-Doo um, theme. Halloween's almost up. Oh, hey. Hire a bot. Yes. Come with me. We must clean up Fortnite. I'm Spider-Man, the superhero, and you're my Robin. <laughs> of course, it does go well. Robin is can be a gal's name. And we got a chest. Any more slaps? No. Coolers. Oh, okay, yeah, we got some slaps. Good. Oh, wow. Explosive repeater rifle. Legendary. Let's see if I can... Nope. At least I scared him. A shockwave. And let's do it again. Okay, in the middle of the circle. Oh, somebody else out there, he saw me. He just jumped down. Oh, it's Optimus. And somebody else. Gotta hit my shots. Oh, knocked him. Two more, knocked him. He's got a crown. Yeah. Oh, I know somebody else is up on the hill. Okay, shotgun time. Okay, knocked him. Wow. We're on a shooting spree. Who is somebody else is up on the hill, got a mythic, it's 1v1. And I'm low on juice. Oh, gotcha. Let's go. Yeah, take care of him, Robin. I'm gonna go ahead and slap up what's left. Oh, yeah, that's right, Robin, you can splash me out. Sweet. Oh, no, can't hang here. Storm's coming. 
I wish I could pick up the crown, but yeah, it ain't worth going down when you can't hold on to a crown. I'm trying to race him around the side of the mountain, get to the other side before he does. And I gotta go across the way. Uh, not a lot of coverage over here. Okay, I think he's after my bot, Robin. Robin, fight! Oh. Robin! Okay, he's got a crown. It's Tree Man! Ooh. Oh wow, it's not good. Ow. Keep trying. Yes! Oh man, that was close. And then he had the high ground and everything. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.